Yo, what's up guys, all that Nintendo fan here today, I'll be talking about the easiest and hardest start in every Super Mario 64 level. Bomb Bomb Battle Village is a nice level to start with and this game has a nice level design. The easiest start is shoot to the island in the sky. All you do is go to the cannon and shoot to the island and go to the yellow box to get your star. On the hardest star is Mario Wings to the sky. The wing cup has horrible controls and can make it impossible to collect the coins. Bomb's Fortress is not as good as Bomb Battlefield, but it's still a good experience. The easiest star is Fall onto the Cage Island. You use the owl to fly over the cage and aim with your shadow. While the hardest star is Shoot into the Wild Blue. Aim with your cannon to the location under the pole, which can be a bit of a mess. Jolly Roger Bay has the best music in the game. The easiest start is Treasure of the Ocean Cave. All you do is zigzag around the treasure chest in the cave. While the hardest star is Blast and Stone Pillar. You have to aim at the tippy top of the pole to hold onto it and go on a ledge. Cool Cool Mountain has somewhat annoying penguins. The easiest star is slip sliding away, all you do is just go slow and take the shortcut. But the hardest star is frosty slide for 8 red coins, the coins are put in the most ridiculous spots and they can get really hard, some of them. Big Boo's Haunt does the horror theme right in my opinion. The easiest star is ride Big Boo's merry go round. Are you use Grandpa Boo's in one location? Well, the hardest start is Big Boo Balcony. You have to climb up to the top to Grandpa and Big Boo and go to the roof for your star. The jumps can get annoying. Hazy Maze Cave just gives me Super Mario World vibes. The easiest start is Swim Beast in the Cavern, Ground Pound on Dory's head, and turn to the island. Well, the hardest star is elevate for eight red coins. The coins are spread out, and you have to travel with a pad while jumping over obstacles. Lethal Lava Land is an interesting volcanic level. The easiest star is eight coin puzzles with 15 pieces. The red coins are right next to each other, so you don't have to do some of that crazy smack. While the hardest star is red. Hot log rolling. It's not hard, it's just tongue consuming. Shifting Sandland is based off of Egypt. The easiest star is in the talents of the big bird. Just touch the bird with by jumping. Well the hardest star is free flying for eight red coins. The, like I said before, the wing cap has horrible controls and the coins are put in the most annoying places. Die Die Docks is similar to Jolly Roger Berry for sharing the best music in the game. The easiest start is Board Bowser Sub. All you do is just go on the sub. The hardest start is Pole Jumping for Red Coins. The camera makes it hard to jump from pole to pole. Snowman's Land is a more realistic version of Cuckoo Mountain because it's not floating in the sky. The easiest start is in the day freeze. All you do is climb in the ice maze. The hardest start is Snowman's Big Head. The snowman can blow you away, even the hat off, even the hat off your head. Wet dry world should be a thing in real life. No, seriously, it should be a thing in real life. The easiest star is shocking arrow lift. Launch up across the arrows to avoid the time wasting. While the hardest star is go to town for red coins. You have to go to town and wall jump to find a few coins. Tall Tom Mountain's name does not lie. 
The easiest start is scale the mountain. All you do is just climb the mountain and get the star at the top. The hardest start is blast to the lonely mushroom. You know how it is. Tiny Huge Island is a nice homage to Giant Land from Super Mario Bros. 3. The easiest star is the tip top of the huge island. Start as Big Mario and go to the highest little pipe and walk to the top of the island. The hardest star is Wiggler's Red Coins. The annoying jumps can somewhat slip you up making you restart the whole level. TikTok Clock is a really interesting course because it takes place inside of a clock tower. The easiest start is stop time for rare coins. Again, the coins are right there. But the hardest start is stomp on the thumb. You have to climb to the top and triple jump off a of top while the stage is still alive. Sure, you can do it while it stops, but you don't. If you don't know how to wild jump, then mm. Rainbow Ride is the worst course because of the level design. The easiest star is swinging in the breeze. It's right there. It's not obnoxious, and it takes less time compared to the other stars. The hardest star is tricky triangles. The time limit can suck. Let's talk about the 100 coin stars, since they're basically in the levels, but, hmm, yeah. The easiest 100 coin star is Big Boo's Hunt. The coins are right there, and you don't need to do any extreme shenanigans compared to the other levels. While the hardest 100 coin star is Rainbow Rock. The layout of the course is way too small open so you can easily die. Let's also talk about the secret stars. The easiest secret star is Toad 1. Sure, Toad 2 and 3 are the exact same thing, but Toad 1 takes less text to go through and you first see him there. Well, the hardest star, secret star is Ring Water Over the Rainbow. Nah, I like the cloud aspect, but if you fall, you have to spawn at the castle ground, which can waste your time. Some stars in Super Mario 64 can be a bit of a mixed bag. Most of them can be easy and most of them can be hard. Basically, it's based on your preference. With all that, Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part of the video was. And I'll see y'all next time. It's your boy, All That Nintendo Fan, signing out.